is Lushan. If you've just found my channel, welcome. And if you're returning to my channel, welcome back. Thank you so much for supporting me here on Lushan's Lifestyle. I truly do appreciate you stopping by. Okay, so as you can see, I'm home. Woohoo! At least for two weeks. <laughs> um, if you've seen my couple of uh, previous videos, you all know I was filming uh, from a hotel room. I was traveling for work. It was um, kind of a pain, but you know, I had to make it do what it do, but yeah. So back to the old stomping grounds and I gotta play hella catch up with my videos. So yeah, I'll probably be bombarding you guys with these. So today's video is the um, detailed portion of my budget and how I will be allocating my income for the month. So if you are interested, then you know what to do. Be right back. All right, so um, as you all know, or you may not know, but what I had done in the month of June was started a new, um, just a, a little series of different types of layouts and formats that I had been seeing and wanting to try them out to see which one would work for me. Um, so this is the, okay, this would be my third layout because I had my original one that I always use and then I tried a different one last month for June. So for July, the month of my birth, I, my birthday's on the 25th, super happy. Um, I'm gonna try this particular um, budget sheet and this was free. This is in Excel, um, I, but I customized it. Um, but it looks like this. So you can either print it out and write on it or you can actually just use it in the um, in Excel. But it's their free template for budgeting. But this is what it looks like basically. And it has like a crap ton of different types of um, categories you can use for your line items for budgeting. It was just like way, way, way too many. I don't use even a third of these. So what I did was I customized the spreadsheet layout for what I use it for. But yeah, you can see it has everything. I mean, legal taxes, investments, gifts, I mean, donations, pets, anything you could think of, they had it in that template. So what I did was I took the template and I customized it to make it work for me and what I, you know, the items that I use. So you can see here, this very short, it went from a legal size down to a letter size and you can see that the um, categories are much smaller except my debt, my debt category kind of got bigger because I have, um, you know, debt. But yeah, so that's what it looks like. So that's what I'm going to use. However, y'all know I'm a decor budgeter. I love to decorate my budget. So even though I'm gonna use this layout just to see how it works, um, I'm still going to put in my planner, just my base, my budget the way I normally would do it. Um, but that's just me because first of all, I love these kids by Uniquely Sean and I wanna utilize it. Uh, and also, I didn't wanna have to like cut this all down or shrink it and then try to paste it in my um, planner. So I'll be doing uh, double duty, but that's okay. But we're, we're gonna use the um, this, this particular format, layout and format for budgeting. Also, in my um, that ca calendar dashboard video, I did um, say, did, I had not done these, this side of my um, planner. Let me pull you guys in so you can see where I set my goals. But basically in my notes section, I just put what step I'm on, which is baby step dose. I always do attend no spend days for the month. So that's always gonna be my goal, goal number one. Um, once I can master that, maybe I'll up the days, we shall see. Um, goal number two will always be to create additional or enhance my current income streams. And um, my third goal, um, you all know um, 
I did mention I didn't do a, a video or anything on it I just start I just did it but my um, last just do it June pro uh, item that was on my list was to get back in the gym which I did and uh, um, if you saw I think it was my plan with me I think the third week of June I put down like all my gym day I had started in all my gym days and all that good stuff so yeah back at the gym so um so I, my third goal is to just stay focused and dedicated to the gym and i also started keto um july 1st so yesterday because today's the second yeah so i started keto so i'll be doing keto along with um focusing on the gym just um trying to uh get get back get myself back to you know a healthy healthy point and yeah so that's it and then i just put this little cute little um sticker on that was a freebie from you dickly sean just says happy fourth of july i thought it was cute so i just uh whited out the calendar the little calendar they had down here and put that there and then put some flowers here i did add the um check off little box they just kind of cute it up a little bit so yeah so that's what's going on in the planner um also i was short one sticker so i did put that in for my car insurance and as you know i paid off bills on these date um some credit cards on these dates so i always put a sticker there and even though i moved my toll to the third i still put a little sticker for a credit card that was debt that i paid off so yeah so all right, so that's what the planner is looking like. So let's go ahead and get into this layout that I am going to be working with for this month to see how I like it. We shall see, see, see. I don't know, let me straighten this out a little bit and bring you guys in so you can see. All right, it's pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Um, Again, like I said, I customized it <clears throat> to make it work for me. So for the month of July, so we're just gonna put in here July monthly. And bring out just a tad, oopsie, just a tad. All right. So it has projected monthly income. So my projected is $5,961.70. It actually has an extra income line, so we'll leave that open. But we're gonna be budgeting right now off of $5,961.70. And then once you're done with the month and you're doing your overview, it actually has your actual so it's pretty cool um you know if you're into just doing it in excel or but i like oh uh, you know again i'm i like to to decorate when i budget so uh, although this is super convenient and free <laughs> and will work for for those who are um very very minimalistic when it comes to writing out their budget or uh, doing their budget on excel i just I'm kind of extra, so I like to do a little bit more. All right, so first we have housing, the housing category. And then I, again, like I said, I customized this. So I just have mortgage for the month, and that's $2,674. And then what I did was wherever I had items that were a part of my cash envelope, instead of creating a cash envelope, like, category, or or uh, section i just put if if the item the the line item coincided with my cash envelopes i just customized it and just put ce next to it for cash envelopes so yeah so it's a little bit different um so under i have mortgage and then i have my household items such as you know, laundry, paper towels, toilet paper, things of that nature. And I put a CE next to it because that would be in a cash envelope item. And for that, oh, and um, let me just put first here, just the, it doesn't have like a due date. So I'll just be writing those in where necessary. 
So then I would have supply, my cash envelope would be $30 for that. And where did I put that? Oh, you know what? See that? I'm messing up all red, red tip. Messing up all red tip. All right, I'm just gonna add in something that I left off. So under other, I'm just gonna put cell phone cause that's what I left off. So we're just gonna put cell. And that is one twenty-one seventy-two. I was trying to fit debating where I wanted to put that, and I think that's why I left it off because I didn't remember where I wanted it to go. All right, so that totals two thousand eight twenty-five seventy-two. Um, next is transportation. So I have toll. Oh wait, my cell is due on the 17th. All right, so now I got toll and that is on the third. And that is $70. And I have car insurance, that's on the 23rd. And that is 305.16. Um, then we have gas and car wash. That's one of my cash envelopes, so that's the CE. That is $160 for the month. Right? No, that is $200 for the month. So $200. And that totals five seventy five sixteen for the month. All right, life insurance. I have two life insurance premiums. One is on the sec. Well, both on the second. And one is for fifty one dollars, and the other is one hundred three eighty nine. This is really different for me, y'all. Um, okay, so that totals $154.89, a lot of totals and sections, I don't know. All right, under eating out, I have, that's one of my cash, um, cash envelopes. That is $80 for the month. So that's 80, that is the only one in this particular category. Um, next is personal care. So in the personal care, these are my um, cash envelopes. So for hair, um, hair, nails, all that good stuff, that is 160. Dry cleaning is 30. And all uh, my gym membership is $23.42. So that totals $213.42. Okay, next category is um, entertainment. And really the only thing I have extra is my Netflix. Um, you know what, this is due on the first. Just put that back there, okay. Um, Netflix is due on the 17th. And that is $13.98. And that's the only thing I have under entertainment. And that total is $13.98. Okay, then we get into the debt portion. And I have... Um, two personal loans. So I have um, BBVA Compass, and that is on the 15th, 7-15-53. Then I have BPAS, and that is on the 20th. 
139. Okay, then I have credit cards. Credit cards I have Amex. It's due on the 4th. And this month it is $156 for the minimum payment. Next is um, Capital One. Capital One is now my new item for my debt snowball. Even though it's more than my Synchrony's balance, um, Synchrony is uh, a zero APR. So I want to knock down Capital One because um, the finance charges are so high on that. So just kind of just go ahead and get rid of this little pup. All right, and this month it's $104 minimum. And then I'll add on my, what I'm paying on the debt snowball after the fact. Then I also have my synchrony. So just kind of put them off for now. Uh, Capital One is due on the 4th and synchrony is due on the 10th. Synchrony is $56. I don't know y'all, this is, um, it's not, I mean, it's good that everything is like, oh, this is really, really broken out. I don't know if I necessarily need all this separation. Okay, then I have student loan, and that's Mahila, and that's due on the fourth, $130. And then I have it financial. And that is due on the 21st. And that is for $35. And then a financial B. And that one's due on the 23rd. And that is $75. So, this, so all totaled up. I already added all this stuff uh, off camera for the sake of time. So we are dealing with $1,410.53 this month in uh, our debts. Um, under the savings uh, section here, I just put in my sinking funds and that is um, $300 and I do a separate video breaking out what is done with my sinking funds and the categories that I have. And then um, I created, I took one of the um, sections and I just revamped it and called it debt. And then I just put snowball and my projected snowball for um, this month is $170 for now. So let me add that up. Now, total here is 300 and total here is one, 170. So I uh, went in and I added up all of the sections. And let me come out. Um, um, I added all of the sections, total all of the sections and my projected cost is, um, Five thousand. No, sorry, uh, my projected cost came out to five thousand seven hundred forty-three dollars and seventy cents. So, if you take um, my projected cost and subtract it from my projected incomes, the income that leaves a projected balance of. $218. So we are going to let that ride um, because I can tell you all <laughs> right now for the month, that's gonna be gone. I have a family reunion that I'm going to um, in this month in a couple of weeks. That's why I said I'm just back you know, filming home for a couple of weeks. And so I will be gone for like a week and a half. So it's like a family reunion, then um, meeting with, uh, hanging out with my family after the fact and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, yeah, gonna need some cash. All right, 
so yeah so this is it um it's it's i mean it is it does what it needs to do it's very specific and you know you can get it you know get it done and it can work um and I will do paycheck one and paycheck two using the form as well because, you know, I said I would give these a try. But I don't know. I don't know if I personally, if I need this much separation with um, with my bills and whatnot. And, um, yeah, it's just even though I like to do the most, this is this is the utmost. So I don't think it's it's really necessary for me. Uh, but anywho. If you haven't done so already, you know, go ahead and click that subscribe button um, and also your notification bell so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. And uh, until my next video, uh, you already know it's hugs and love and hey, your lifestyle if you last this long. Thank you so much. Bye.